everybody, it's Miss Jojo. Welcome back to another fun art class with We Color the Bay. I'm here with my assistant. Alma! Hey Alma, welcome to art class. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what color are you feeling today? Yellow. Yellow. What color are you feeling today? Hmm. So we're gonna be doing a project today that is based on the kids book called Milo's Museum. Milo's Museum, written by Zeta Elliott. So if you haven't read the book, there's a link down below. You can watch a video. So in this book, Milo goes to a museum and realizes that she doesn't see herself represented in the museum. So she decides to make her own museum. So in our project today, we're gonna to be making our own museum. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's get our supplies ready. Hi. Hi. Okay, so as usual, we like to put something down on the table to protect our space. So we have some old newspaper that we're gonna put down. And then we're gonna need a pair of scissors. We love kid scissors. Uh, a glue stick. Glue stick, a pencil. After that, any art supplies that you have will work, um, but we're gonna use some colored papers, some markers, but this project's really open. If you have some pencils or paints or crayons, whatever you wanna use will work for this project. We're also gonna use some of these index cards, just a few index cards towards the end, and I think that's everything. Ready to get started? Okay. Okay, so let's get started. So you can choose any color for your background color. A lighter color is nice because all of the things we're gonna put on top will show up better. So almost chosen yellow. yellow, and I'm choosing a light pink. If you don't have construction paper, you can always just use a white piece of paper. Any sheet of paper will work. So the first thing we're gonna do is fold our paper in half this way. So to fold it up, you want to line up the corners and then hold it down and then create your crease. I like to use my finger to make that crease nice and straight. This is probably the hardest part of the whole project. So take this corner and line it up to this corner. Hold this one down with this hand. And then line them up. Once you've got them together, put your finger to hold that down. And with your other hand, line up the top corner. Good. And then hold these down and make your crease. Perfect. Great. So make sure you go back and forth over your crease to make sure it's nice. I even sometimes use my fingernail. You have fingernails, you can use the back of your fingernail too. If you need help with the folding part from a parent or a grown up, um, that's okay too. This is probably the hardest part of the whole project. So once you've got it folded, open it back up. And this time we're gonna fold towards the top. So I put my hand here and I line up. This time I'm lining up the line with itself right here. Good. And hold that with your finger. And then crease across. Awesome! All right, we're ready to make our museums. So open them back up. And now we're gonna use our scissors and we wanna cut just this line from the bottom to the center. So I'm gonna draw it on. You don't need to draw it, but just so you can see where. From here to here, we're gonna cut the paper. Carefully cut. Great. What if yours isn't on the lining while they cut? No, no, it's it's close enough. It's great. You're doing a great job. Right to the middle. Perfect. Okay, that's the hardest part. Okay, so now grab these two corners and move them towards each other. That's what our museum's gonna look like. It's gonna be great. All right, so once you've got it like this, 
take your pencil and draw a line where it lines up right there. Just across. And then you can open it back up. And this little square right here, we're gonna put an X. Because that's the part that's gonna be covered up when we glue it in the end. So when we glue it back together, this part's not gonna show. So we just put an X there so we can remember as we're decorating our museum that that part is not gonna show when we're finished. Yeah, so now you can open it back up. And decorate? Yeah, so the first thing we wanna do is make a sign across the top that says your name and then the word museum. So on this half, you're gonna write your name. So I'm gonna write Miss Jojo's. Yeah, if you wanna make like a little sign. And then museum. If you need extra time, you can pause the video. Yeah, great job, that's right. If you need extra time, you can always pause the video. Awesome, so now we just get to town. So these are gonna be the walls, and this is gonna be the floor. And you can start thinking of all kinds of things you wanna put in your museum. Maybe on the floor you wanna put some carpet or some furniture. Maybe you wanna hang some art on the walls or some plants or, hmm, what do you think you might add into your museum? Whatever you want to create in your museum. So these are things that maybe help tell stories about you or your family. Well, I have a great idea for And at this point, you can start using crayons or markers. I'm going to draw a spiral because I love spirals. So I'm going to draw a spiral uh -huh. rug. You can also use cut paper if you want to cut out things to glue into your museum. Like I think I'm gonna put a little garden box inside my museum and grow some maybe grow some flowers and some herbs. Use markers and pencils. It makes you happy. Can I put pictures just of something? Yeah. You want to put a picture of like a family member or you can just keep adding things and decorating your museum you want to put in your museum. So in Milo's museum, we remember that she was asking her grandpa, what are museums for? Museums are a place to keep objects that tell stories. Important things, things that we think are valuable or important, or they can help tell our story. So it's up to you, whatever you think is important to your story. If you want to cut out some sort of carpet or flooring, you could add windows, you can add other objects.
you can also start cutting out people. Think of the people that you want to invite to your museum. What kind of visitors are you gonna have? Who do you want to see the objects and things of value that you've brought into your museum in order to tell your story? The things that you think are important. It's always good to use a pencil first so that you can erase and you can always add color on top of that. You can also use your index cards or any extra pieces of paper to, to draw little items and cut them out and add them to the museum. You can use your glue. So think about what kind of things you might wanna include in the museum. What is important to you? What do you think, what items or objects do you think are valuable to help tell your story? Okay, so Almi and I have finished up making some people to invite, some different objects for our museum. So put those to the side and now we're gonna make it into the official museum. So what you wanna do is take your glue stick and glue the area with the X. So get some glue on that part that you've X'd out. Once you've got some glue on there, so grab these two corners and you just kind of push them together. So you slide that floor right on top of the X and then glue it down by pushing it together. Give it a little time to dry and you can just run your fingers along these corners, pinch them, so that it becomes your museum. Awesome, yeah, looking good. Yeah, so we just Bring wanna kind of pull on that fold a little bit more. Make sure it stands up nicely. There you go. So okay. let's lift them up so you can see. Here's what our museums look like. And then all your other participants can come visit the museum. Can you tell us a little bit about your museum? Yes, mine's a gymnastics museum. I have a pictures of the, the low bars and the high bar. I have some medals and some pictures of the floor mat, your floor routine. And I have trophies and then a picture of first place, second place, and third place. Mm. And then they have a carpet down here with the cat. Ooh. And my people is this is a cat, just like that one. A hamster. My dad. Yeah, is your dad coming to check out the museum today? Mm -hmm. And me. I'm holding a welcome sign. Welcome to the museum. I'm gonna show you a little bit about my museum. Um, I've decided to make the carpet out of grass because I love to be in nature and I added a pond as well as a little boat and a kayak. I know it's crazy to have all these things inside a museum, but that's what I imagined for my museum. It's the outdoors indoors. Um, I also have a Black Lives Matter poster and my art supplies because in my museum there's a lot of artwork for social justice and art supplies that everyone can come use. I also have a garden. Uh, we're growing tulips right now. So we have living things inside the museum. I have some pictures of different people from my family to tell more about my history. And I have a skateboard and a helmet. So if anyone wants to skate around the museum, I've also invited my neighbor, our neighbor who lives next door, as well as <clears throat> Alma, so she can come to the museum. Um, and another friend is coming on a bike to visit the museum. And I'm also gonna add a free library in front of the museum. I hope you enjoyed making your own museum today. And I'd love to hear more about all of the things that you decided to put inside of your museum. 
as you reimagine what kind of things can be in museums to represent the stories and items and objects that you think are valuable. So I'm excited to hear your story. So take a picture of your museum and all of your visitors and then record yourself telling me about what you decided to put in your museum. See you next time. Stay colorful. Bye.